Let's dive into the subdomain of 2 to 5 on network security management which is an important aspect of cybersecurity defense as it aims to ensure the protection of an organization's network from cyber risks. The objective of this subdomain is to safeguard the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the organization's network. There are a few key controls that organizations should be implemented to meet the ECC requirements. Control 2, 5, 1. Cybersecurity requirements for network security management must be defined, documented, and approved. This means that the organization should establish a set of guidelines and procedures on how to secure their network. This should include what types of security solutions are approved for use and what kind of network traffic should be monitored. Creating a network security policy is an important step in meeting the requirements of the NCAECC standard and protecting your organization's network. The policy should include the following key elements. The purpose of the policy should be clearly stated, and should include the objectives of the policy, such as protecting the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of network assets. The scope of the policy should be defined, and should specify which network assets are covered by the policy, as well as which individuals, systems, and devices are subject to the policy. The policy should specify the network security standards that will be used by the organization, and should also outline the technical and regulatory limitations of those standards. The policy should include guidelines for monitoring and controlling network access, as well as procedures for responding to security incidents. The policy should include guidelines for the use of security technologies such as firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems, and virtual private networks, VPNs. One example of a use case scenario for this control would be a retail company that processes credit card transactions through their network. In this scenario, the company would need to ensure that their network is protected against cyber threats such as data breaches and unauthorized access to sensitive information. To meet this control, the company would need to define and document their cybersecurity requirements for network security management, which would include controls such as firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems, and network segmentation. To start, the company would conduct a risk assessment to identify potential vulnerabilities in their network and to determine the types of data and information that need to be protected. Once the risks have been identified, the company would then develop a set of cybersecurity requirements for network security management that include specific controls and procedures to mitigate those risks. It's also important to consider regulatory and compliance requirements. The company should make sure that they are in compliance with the standards, best practices and laws that apply to the company. Control 252 states that the cybersecurity requirements for network security management as defined and approved in Control 2, 5, 1, must be implemented. This includes putting the guidelines and procedures in place to protect the organization's network from cyber risks. This can include training employees on how to use the approved network security solutions, implementing security solutions on the organization's network, and regularly monitoring the network for security threats. A possible approach for implementing these requirements could include conducting a risk assessment to identify potential vulnerabilities and threats to the network. This could include identifying critical assets and data that need to be protected, as well as any regulatory or compliance requirements that need to be met. Once the risks have been identified, the organization can then implement appropriate security measures to mitigate those risks. Examples of security measures that could be implemented include firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems, IDS, IPS, virtual private networks, VPNs, and network segmentation. Additionally, it is important to implement strong access controls and to monitor network activity for unusual or suspicious activity. When it comes to technology, there are many commercial and open source solutions available to help organizations implement and comply with network security management requirements. Examples include firewall solutions such as Cisco ASA and Fortinet FortiGate, intrusion detection and prevention systems such as Snort and Suricata, and virtual private network, VPN, solutions such as OpenVPN and Cisco AnyConnect. To understand this control, let's walk through a use case scenario of an organization which has an e-commerce website that receives a high volume of traffic. The organization needs to ensure that the website and its associated systems are protected from cyber threats. To meet this requirement, the organization conducts a risk assessment and identifies several potential vulnerabilities, including the risk of a distributed denial of service (DDoS) attack. To mitigate this risk, the organization implements a firewall to block incoming traffic from known malicious IP addresses and also implements an intrusion detection and prevention system (IDS) to detect and block any suspicious network activity. Additionally, 
the organization implements network segmentation to limit access to sensitive areas of the network, such as the e-commerce website's back-end systems. To implement these controls, one possible approach would be to first conduct a risk assessment to determine the specific network security needs of the organization. This would include identifying the types of data and assets that need to be protected, as well as any regulatory or compliance requirements that need to be met. Once the needs have been identified, the organization can then choose the appropriate network security solutions and standards that meet those needs. These solutions may include firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems, IDPS, virtual private networks, VPNs, and other network security devices such as next-generation firewalls, NGFW, security information and event management, SIEM, systems, etc. When it comes to technology, there are many tools and solutions available that can help organizations implement and comply with network security management requirements. Examples include firewalls, VPNs, intrusion detection and prevention systems, and security information and event management systems. These tools can assist with network segmentation, access control, incident response, and compliance monitoring and reporting.